Uh, Mr. Roggio, you've been following terrorist groups for some time now with the Long War Journal. In your opinion, are the Iranian-backed groups operating in Iraq, such as AAH and the Badr organization terrorist groups, should the U.S. designate these groups as for their terrorist activity? Yes, uh, absolutely. These, I would argue most of these groups should be, that some, some actually are, I believe Hezbollah brigades, and I believe AAH was just added to the list. No? Oh, okay. Um, uh, there, wa um, there, there have been two of them. Hezbollah brigades is one of them. Um, uh, a lot of these groups have sworn allegiance to Iran's supreme leader. They have said they would overthrow the Iraqi government uh, if ordered to do so. They said they wish the, that its overall governing organization, the Popular Mobilization Front, it, they wanted to operate like the IR, IRG, the IRGC does inside of Iraq. And so I, I, they, these are a very direct threat to U.S. national security. They've also, members of these groups or leaders of these groups have said that they would attack U.S. interests in the Middle East if ordered to do so, including U.S. troops inside of Iraq. So they, they are a direct threat. I view these groups as just mini Hezbollahs that are, are ready to metastasize into a far greater problem than Hezbollah is today. And we all know what a, what a great threat Hezbollah is in the Middle East right now.